I'm Rebecca Poling. I'm Chad Poling. And we've been members at Unicus since June of 2015. We started coming to Unicus actually um, after an epic failure. <laughs> so for me, I had gotten to the point where I was so out of shape, I couldn't pass my physical fitness test at work. And then we had, that summer, we had gone on vacation to Colorado and we were trying to climb a mountain with a group of friends and everyone made it to the top of the mountain except Rebecca and I and <laughs> it was pretty defeating we had to watch the rest of the group um, including our kids <laughs> yeah including our kids um, scale the peak which was the final destination so on our way home we made the decision between ourselves to get in shape climb a mountain the next year. We, we call that the drive of shame um, because we'd been so excited to do this 14er. We really thought we were like, you know, like the average American healthy and, you know, fairly like moderately in shape. I could walk around the neighborhood and not huff and puff. And then um, the drive home from Colorado was 14 hours and 13 out of those 14 hours, we were like, we got to make a plan. Something has to change. So we actually got home from that trip and that fall. Um, we called some friends of ours and we were like, we told them our devastating story about like the, the shame of watching our young daughters scale this 14 or not being able to do it. And um, we said, man, will you guys do like a health challenge with us? And so we did like an at home, kind of do it yourself home challenge. So we decided to go to the gym three times a week. We were going to like LA Fitness up the road. Um, and I hated it. I hated every moment of going into LA Fitness. It was like impersonal, it was awkward. Like, you know, you'd, you'd, I don't know how to use half the machines. Uh, most of my workout was this very like bland, running on a treadmill and then trying to figure out how to, you know, use the machines, no coaching. And then in June of the following year, so it's about nine months later, um, a neighbor of mine said, I think I'm gonna try this new gym up the, up the street. They have a CrossFit gym. And the summer before, um, Chad and I were like on a lazy Saturday afternoon, we're flipping through channels on the TV and we came across the CrossFit Games. And we were like, what is this insanity? We like binge watched the CrossFit games. So by the time I got invited to CrossFit, I was like, that kind of sounds fun. It was, it was really cool. Like when you first come into this gym, especially for someone like me that um, really is intimidated by any workout space. So like, you know, horrible memories from like middle school and high school, I don't want to go in the gym. You know, and I think a lot of people are like that. They're just intimidated to go into this workout space where everyone seems to kind of know what they're doing and they look great. And so coming in here for the first time when I was invited, I kind of had those same feelings at first, like I'm gonna be the most ridiculously awkward person in this gym. But like from the minute you walk in, like the coaching staff and the other people here, they're so friendly and so welcoming. Like for the first time in my life, and I was in my like early 30s when we first started coming here, for the first time in my life, I felt okay about being in a workout space um, and they coached us through the movements i remember doing a box jump for the first time and feeling like i had just scaled a mountain <laughs> uh, so it was uh, it, it was really um, it was powerful for me for always being so intimidated and uncomfortable in spaces like these to come in and immediately like my guard was down um, and then that started our journey that summer we started working out here and i think um, we, we tried another mountain climb after we had been working out here three months and were successful. So, shed a little tear at the top. And I bawled like a baby. <laughs> that was really the beginning of our fitness journey. Uh, we loved um, 
the camaraderie you feel after you accomplish something difficult. Um, in CrossFit, everyone's doing the same workout, so um, you bond over uh, the completion of that workout, the success of just getting through it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just a sense of accomplishment. Um, after every single workout, there's a sense of community because um, you're all doing the same thing. Everyone's at uh, varying levels of fitness, and so you don't have to worry about what stage of fitness you are. There's always going to be someone better than you at some exercise. <laughs> All of them. You're not going to be the best at everything, but uh, the cool thing is the community encourages um, others. Um, uh, if somebody's more fit or better at a workout, you finish before them, you encourage the, the person that's not done yet to, to continue to keep striving that kind of thing. But it's, it's so like comforting and encouraging to know like no matter where you are in your athletic journey that the coaching staff here, like they have you in mind. Um, and every time I walk in, I feel like so seen and so like heard and valued as an individual person. I'm not put in this, you know, just dump of athletes, just do the same workout. Um, Braden's always helping me modify. If I can't do a certain activity, he knows exactly how I should modify in order to make the workout fit for me, so yeah. Yeah, challenging yourself and accomplishing goals is something that happens routinely. And so you're going to get through something that's very difficult during a workout. And I think it just, it hardens you. It makes you uh, more, resilient, uh, yeah. more resilient in everyday life. And the coaching staff is better than anywhere else in the area. So it's, it's worth your time. It's worth your energy and your resources and the investment.